My father, Sandy Coven, was a malaria researcher who worked at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease. He recognized the crucial need for dedicated research in infectious and tropical diseases because of the very real global threats they pose. This led to the formation of the Coven Center for the Study of Infectious and Tropical Diseases within Hebrew University's Faculty of Medicine in 1976. Over the past five decades, the Coven Center has become a globally recognized research and diagnostic center. The Coven Center is uh, one of the jewels of the crown of the Faculty of Medicine. People from all over the world, students, but also scientists and physicians are coming to study here. When you work in a place where you have a lot of people from different parts of the world working together, it helps you think in a more constructive way, in a more open-minded way, and incorporate that into your work. The mission of the Kuvin Center is to study and further understand infectious and tropical diseases. And we do that not only through great science, but through collaborative science everything from local collaborations within Israel to regional collaborations across the Middle East to collaborations literally in every corner of the world. And as my father said, that we can develop peace through science. It's all about collaboration. Many researchers here at the center, they're not doing all the work that they're doing in the lab. They reach out and they reach out to endemic countries such as Africa, in Sudan, in Ethiopia. They actually work in the field trying to tackle the real clinical aspect of diseases in the place where those diseases are actually being a burden. One of the center's first forays into collaborative research was a decade-long program between researchers at the Kuvin Center and their counterparts at Ain Shams University in Cairo. This U.S.-funded initiative began in the early 1980s and the project focused on serious infectious diseases that cause disability and death. Sandy Kuvin had tremendous vision and he saw us as much bigger than we were. He headed off to Egypt and he found each minister, had them all sign letters of intent on how cooperation with Israel had to be in the future to make peace. In the late 1990s, the Kuvin Center again transcended borders in the Middle East through a cooperative program with Palestinian scientists at El Quds University in Jerusalem, researching leishmaniasis, which is a group of diseases transmitted by sand flies causing fever, skin lesions, and organ failure. In 2009, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation awarded the Kuvin Center a large grant to perform fieldwork and research on leishmaniasis in Ethiopia and other countries. In addition to COVID, many infectious and tropical diseases continues to pose threats to Israel, the region, and the entire world. The Kuvin Center remains dedicated to working with global colleagues to understand these diseases and eradicate them. Malaria, for example, continues to plague many countries with more than 200 million cases per year leading to 400,000 deaths annually. Young children comprise more than half of these deaths. Every day, the Kuvin Center researchers make strides in better understanding malaria and other deadly diseases, which will undoubtedly lead to improved therapies. Since it was established, the Kuvin Center has been engaged in groundbreaking research in understanding infectious disease and infectious disease epidemiology, modes of transmission, and methods of prevention. The work that they do will continue to save the lives of millions of children and adults across the globe.